Alright guys, welcome back to Power Plays. We are doing the booster mini game from the uh, aesthetic vaporwave stage. I forget the name of it already. Um, but uh, yeah. Um, we were talking about some references. This stage is full of references. This is actually the stage um, where if you get the. I think it. I can't remember exactly what you do, but in earlier versions of Sonic Mania, if you do a certain button combination in a certain area, it will replace the sound effects of. Uh, Sonic on a uh, on a charge pad with a video game donkey going ing! What? Oh and, yeah, you mentioned that before yeah. actually. Yeah. Um, but they removed it in later versions of the game, and I don't know why. Oh, but there's, there's like stuff in there. But like if you install the Steam version, for example, and then just install version one, uh, you'll still get that little Easter egg. Oh, I'm sure there's a video of YouTube uh, of somebody doing it. If you just look up Donkey Sonic Mania, you'll find it. Oh god, that that's so disorienting. Ooh, I hate this shit. This Look at how fast you go. Oh, oh my god, uh, I'm going I so up. fast. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh it. fuck, Rick. Or er, no. Oh jeez. Yeah, Rick. there it is. There it is. <laughs> Morty, don't don't fuck up, Morty. Morty, you gotta burp when you say Morty. Morty. I can't. I can't burp right now. Buddy. Like, my buddy's an idea. When someone bells you, just go. You just say Morty afterwards. You don't understand, Morty! <laughs> we gotta beat the Sonic game or we can't go back to our realm! Oh, jeez, Rick! Right. I've never played this game before! I've never played this game before, you know? I'm just, doing great, just don't fuck no, up, Morty! No, don't <laughs> fuck up, Morty! The entire world is... is uh, I mean, no pressure! Is, uh, is, is writing on this, but no pressure! Oh, jeez! Oh, I love Rick and Morty, it's so good. Oh, you perfected that! I love Rick and Morty. I don't like Rick and Morty fans. Oh! Um, actually, there's a thing, this hasn't come out yet, but I played a, a fan game, a Mega Man fan game called Super Fighting Robot. I'm just taking a sip. Yeah, yeah, take a sip of your drink. And, um... Get all close to uh, you. <laughs> get all close to you. Oh, Blondie just loves food and drink noises. He loves you now. <laughs> He's gonna hate you so much. Um, but, uh, but yeah, like, um, the, the fucking snails. There's um, always a snail so that guy in Sonic. There was a, a Super a Super Fighting Robot Mega Man, which is a fan game. There's a mode where you can play as Rick instead of Mega Man. It's, Wait. You can unlock it if you beat the game. Sorry, you gotta slow down a bit. I kind of missed what you said there. So, there's a fan game call of Mega Man called Super Fighting Robot. I hate those guys. Okay. Uh, and if you beat the game, uh, you can unlock playing the game as Rick Sanchez. Who's that? From Rick and Morty. Oh, really? Yeah. And... <laughs> A little popcorn machine. I love this. I love the way that looks. This little, this whole movie, 80s movie store aesthetic this thing has. Or I like this too. Hey. Yeah. I don't know where the special it reminds me. It reminds here. me of oh. the uh, ninja sequences from uh, from uh, Hurricane Ranger slash Power Rangers Ninja Storm. I know you... <laughs> I, know, I don't really like Power Rangers that much, but I mean, like, I can understand. But I mean, you haven't seen the cool stuff. But I mean, you were even like, when I showed you Common Rider stuff, you are like, yeah, I can see why people like this. Yeah, the way we were explaining it, we were saying it's like an adult Power Ranger. Yeah, kind. well, I mean, it's it's made for kids still in Japan, so it can't do so some things, but it's, like... It's made for kids in Japan, so it's basically for adults in America. Yeah, because Japanese kids or whatever, but then they made a... Over here. They made a, um, a remake or a remake or continuation of Common Rider Amazon, which was already a pretty effed up Common Rider season. Uh, and Amazon picked it up for streaming. Oh yeah, funny enough. And it's actually it's a uh, it's a forty episode or a forty minute episode of Game of Thrones. Well, not Game of Thrones, but that kind of style of TV show. Like it's made for adults. So it's like like people sometimes die in Kamen Rider. In Kamen Rider Amazon's people die a lot. <laughs> so it's a lot more crazy, but. Uh, Anyways, Sega Sonic Popcorn Shop. That's also a reference to, uh, what was it? The Sega. There's like a Sega. There's like a Sonic popcorn machine in really? Japan. Oh yeah, I like this. And yeah, like man, like I like a little like like 40s. Yeah, style. I was just gonna say like really old. By the way, Disney. Cuphead's coming to friggin' Switch. I thought it was already on Switch. Uh, it might already be up now by the time this video is out. Um, but it was exclusive to Xbox and Steam, but now it's coming out on Switch. Which I'm happy about, and it's funny because Blondie and I went to a convention where somebody asked that question to the developers like a year before they announced it coming to Switch, saying, "Hey, when's it coming to Switch?" And people, and they're like, "It's not coming to Switch." But Microsoft, no. 
Because Mega Shot back then. Oh fuck, I can't do anything. Oh, oh, did you just save yourself? Yup, I'm gonna save myself again out. That's so clutch, I don't know how you do this. I'm nervous just watching you do this. Did you get the emerald yet? I can't remember. No, I I I don't really know where the thing the giant ring is in this stage. This is like one of the ones that like if I get to it, I get it. And if not, I don't know where the fuck it is. So may or may not get supersonic. It's not in this you can you can always there's plenty of opportunities to get all the emeralds. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's not like there's, there's just not one. just seven emeralds, but like seven emeralds. rings? Yeah, like there's not just like seven chances to get it. You have like a shit ton of chances. If you can find all the rings, then like not all the rings, but you can find enough locations to get your emeralds. I don't know how you do this so well. It's so fast. I just I just gotten used to it. Really. Another one I say that, but if I play a Mega... Some people say, look at me when I play Mega Man, they're like, do you play that so easily? I'm just like, I don't know, it's Mega Man. <laughs> oh, oh. Get fast. No, you, you're definitely more of a Mega That's Man. That's talking about getting fast, if you know what I mean. Get fast now. Man. High class for it. Convert to sound waves. There you go. Like, uh, what's his name? Pulse Man. Game made by Game Freak. Actually, I recently... You know what's funny? I just recently got a game from uh, from Limited Run Games that a new platforming game made by Game Freak, the people who make Pokemon. Oh really? I didn't think they yeah. made anything other than Pokemon. Uh, they they actually have another game coming out, an, another RPG. It's basically um, it's basically like uh, Dark Cloud that they have coming out. So they have non Pokemon games coming out. But yeah, Pulse. One of their first big games. Was Pulse Man oh, for the Sega Genesis? That's right. The people who made Pokemon made a friggin' Genesis platformer. Really? Yeah, it's a really good game too. It's just sad it never came out here. So, well, it did on the Sega channel. Oh, there it is. I don't know if I can get it. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I can get it, but watch this. I'll. I'll totally try. Go. I don't know. I don't want to. Like, yeah. I love the way this one looks. I love the little like crystals and stuff in the background. This stage has the 90s aesthetic for sure. It's all vaporwave. Oh yeah. All vaporwave all the time. I love vaporwave even though it's totally, it's like really like pretentious. There, this is, uh, sorry, um, pretty sure I need to get some rings actually. There was a, uh, what was it, um, you know what I saw recently? What's that? Somebody made a video called The Art of uh, Blank VHS Covers. And I was like, oh my god, why am I nostalgic for this? There's something about VHS. Like, if you look look at a blank VHS, like, uh, packaging, and think about it for a second. They have that, like, like rainbow 90s, logo. Like, 90s always had that, like, rainbows and triangles yep. and shit. This is what it's reminding me of. Like, this is definitely a very 90s stage. 90s and 80s. It's like both. It's like both aesthetic. It's got that, like, 80s anime style, but it's got that 90s, like... Not quite CG, but CG aesthetic. Yeah, I see what you mean. God, it's so. Yeah, we can I know. I know it's kind of cringe, but I love it. Nah, it's not cringe at all. I have, I have learned that even if it's cringe, it doesn't matter if you love. It. I like cringy things for the fact of them being cringy sometimes. Oh, dude, just, my favorite. Just my, for it. My favorite movie is Miami Connection. It's like Never it's terrible. It. It's an awful movie, except for its fighting scene. Oh, we all have but bad movies it. we love. I love Hamlet too. That movie's terrible. Hamlet two. <laughs> that movie's terrible. There's like Hamlet two. Oh, oh my man. god, I gotta see this. Do you want to just watch terrible movies sure. for this? My my ex girlfriend. I watched it with her, and like you think I would I would like remember it watching it with her, but it was actually just one of those bad movies I just love. I don't oh, I don't think of it of her. I just think. Do you, of the movie. you watch Red Letter Media? No. I don't know what that is. Okay, so Red Letter Media, they do, um, they made the Mr. Plinkett character. You heard of Mr. Plinkett? No. Okay, so anyways, they're a YouTube channel where they review... Get the fuck over there. They just do movie stuff. They have this series called The Best of the Worst, and they have this huge, like, shelves, like, shelves upon shelves of VHSs and DVDs of random stuff, like, random bad stuff. So what they do is they pick... And sometimes they do it randomly. They get four, three to four movies, and they yeah. watch them all in like a couple days, and then they have to decide which one's the best of the worst of those. So, like, uh, what was it? They did one on this movie called, um, God, what is it called? Uh, damn, I'm trying to remember a superhero. Um, um, 
Oh my god, why can't I think of it now? Oh, I'm gonna feel like such an idiot, and people are gonna be like, I know what it is! I know what that is! Which is a reference to They're screaming at their fucking monitors. Uh, it did, uh, oh my god. They've done so many movies, though, so people might be just like, I don't know, whatever. God, it's so clutch. I don't know how. Um, I don't know how you do. What do? Exactly. Um, uh, uh, oh, Rem Lazar. That's what it's called. What? That's the hero's oh. name, Rem Lazar. Um, and people are like, they tried, they spent like a whole like five minutes figuring out what his means. And it's just this movie about these kids have this imaginary hero friend that they see in their dreams called Rem Lazar. And he's just a guy in like purple spandex, and he looked really creepy. Oh, I fucked up. I'm not gonna be able to get a gold medal, but we'll get a we'll get a silver one anyway. Yeah, silver yeah. still unlocks stuff. Right? Yeah. Sorry, I totally just talked over your shoulder. Well, that's fine, yeah. but like, yeah, Rem Lazar. I, I'm trying to remember uh, um, what the name of the movie was. It was something Rem Lazar. Ah, it made no sense. I can't remember, but they have a lot of movies like that. There's another movie um, they did called... Uh, what was it called? Fuck. I'm forgetting all the names of these now. Um, you know what? I have a phone right here. I can just look up Rem Lazar and see what that means. Um, oh, well, you're at it. You should... <laughs> Morty, you should look up <laughs> uh, I should look up, uh, um, this is the fan character picture. Some Creating Rem Lazar, that's the name of the movie. Is your eggnog is sign. The... Okay, Lonnie, can you please put up a picture of Rem Lazar? I'm showing it to you right now. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> he has, like, a purple fro. <laughs> oh, he's even got that, like, headband. Yeah, and can you put up a... <laughs> the freaking cover of the movie, Creating Rem Lazar. I'll show you in a second. But it's like, since we were talking about 80s and 90s aesthetics, this, this boss frustrates too. me. I, it, I did the first time I played it, and then you just start get, you, yeah, getting used to the flow. This boss took me a long time to beat. I think I, I played this and I had to put this down for a while because I kept dying. Awesome. You gotta Come get on. This is right. Oh jeez! Ah, oh, you loud! I hit the blues. Yeah. You hit the blues, eh? Isn't that what uh, what's his name's Club called? Spin? No, like Mega Man, the Japanese name for Proto Man's blues. Yeah, blues, and he's known as the Blue Bomber. Get it? Blue oh, bombs. No, my buddy, my buddy was telling me it's actually that's actually really smart that they did that. Because yeah. You know how uh, a lot of like Mega Man names in Japan are based off of music? Yeah. Well, I think I heard that. Blues is like a prototype to rock. Yeah, he is. That's why he's called Proto Man. That, no, 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 yeah. the actual music yeah. blues. Yeah. So it's like really creative, you know? Exactly, that's what I mean. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was Act 1. Holy shit. Yeah, that's a pretty long one. At least we got a chaos symbol. Yeah, you might want to pause after when the next stage starts. Um, Let's just let this. It just starts here. Okay. Oh, Studio Apple Zone Two. All right, guys. And next time on Power Plays, we will do Studio Apple Zone Two on Egg TV. See you then. Bye. Hey guys, do you like to save money on games? I know I do. Down below, I have some bundles from Indie Gala where you pay a couple bucks and you get a bunch of games. So if you want to save some money on games and support me at the same time, check it out. Anyways, I'll see you on the next episode.